In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your digital models for printing on a Moonray 3D printer. So now that you have your Serif Ortho model, how do you get it to print? The first thing I do is crop the model. This tool functions in a very similar way to when you're marking out the models uh, for a crown. Just double click the blue outline and then move the outline to wherever you want it to be double click again to join it onto the original. I like to have about two millimeters of gingiva. You don't need any more. I'm using these models for either study models for orthodontic case planning or making retainers. So I don't need a boatload of gum or floor of mouth or anything like that. Do the same and trim the lower model to get it to the shape that you need, getting rid of all that excess data. When setting the model axis, I like to set it relating to the upper teeth, not the lower teeth. I set it such that the palatal aspect of the incisal edge is at the T line. I add bases to help me with my orthodontic model planning. But if this is just for retainers, you don't need to add a base. I like to use a maxillary and mandibular base height of 14 millimeters. To get two bases on my Moonray printer, I need to make the bases smaller because the default size just won't fit on the printer. Once you're happy with the base, export it as an STL file. You can print the base as is, as a solid model, but it's going to take a boatload of resin. So the best thing to do is hollow out the base in Mesh Mixer. Even though Serif Ortho exports a solid model, I tend to use the inspector to check for holes just in case. Make the model hollow. I use a 3mm thickness because it's much easier for me to get it off my Moonray printer bed than a 2mm thickness. Sometimes the 2mm bases can crack instead of coming off cleanly. The 3mm bases just pop right off. Once it's hollowed out, you use the plain cut tool to cut the bottom off. And then just export the hollowed out model. Import the opposing model replacing this model, not appending it. If you append rather than replace, you'll have both models on the screen at the same time, which can be useful in some instances, but not for what we're doing right now. Inspect, analyze, hollow out, and plain cut this in the same way that you did the previous model.
all I do now is import both of those models into Rayware, reorient them and then print them. It uses about 50 mils of resin once you've accounted for wastage and takes just over three hours to print a set of based study models. Thanks for watching guys and again if you have any questions just drop me a line.